welcome to Round Robin. I'm your host, Robin McCormick with the City of Hampton. And today we're going to talk about child safety seats and how important they are and how important it is that you get the right one. My guest is Ruby Gatling from the Health Department. Welcome, Ruby. Hi. Thank you. I have one. Okay. Now, I'm going to be the old cranky person who says, I grew up and I didn't have a child <laughs> seat and I rolled around the back seat or the back of the pickup truck and I survived today. Uh -huh. So <laughs> why do we really need those? Well, now the people that are driving, there's more cars on the highway, more people are distracted from um, driving the correct way and the safe way. So you have a lot of accidents happening and crashes, as we call them. And you want to make sure that your children are safe. And plus, it's the law. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> let's, let's say that again. It is the law. Even it if you don't law. agree, mm -hmm. even if you are one of those cranky people mm -hmm. who said, I grew up just fine, Yeah, yeah. Um, it is the law. It is but, the law. But mostly, you're right. Things have changed a lot since mm -hmm. I was a kid. We're not going to say how many years that is, but, uh -huh. you know, it's a long time. And we didn't even have those then. It's not like my parents opted not to use them. Mm -hmm. These have been developed for a reason. Yes, Keeping um, our kids safe is the most important thing. That's the truth. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of times back in the day, there weren't as many cars and vehicles on the highway, yeah. not as much distraction as they have now so far as cell phones. And and uh, they found out that a lot of children were being injured and killed in car crashes. So they had to come up with a way to protect those children. Right. So, Just because I survived, there were lots out there right. who didn't. That's so. right. Not in my era, too. Mm -hmm. So they decided to make a law, because I guess they feel like they have to have a law for the parents to really protect their children. Yeah. But, um, it's sad, but yes. It is sad. <laughs> they it do. Is. And um, so they came up with a law, state law of Virginia, here in the state of Virginia, but it's in all 50 states. They all have their own safety um, seat law that says you have to buckle your children up from infants all the way up to a certain age limit. Now, one of the challenges is these things have evolved over time. Yes. So the ones that existed 30 years ago mm -hmm. or 20 years mm -hmm. ago or 10 years ago mm -hmm. don't offer the same level. I mean, I can look at this. This is a Cadillac. <laughs> yes, <laughs> this it is. <laughs> is different than what I put my kids in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So one of the things you want people to do is turn in those old ones. Don't reuse them, right? Yes, we do. And... Um, with Drive Safe, Tidewater, um, Virginia, AAA, and Walmart, we are doing a uh, old use, bought, and abused child safety seat program during the month of February, uh, where Walmart offers a $5 gift certificate to every seat that you bring in, but they only limit it to two seats at a time. Right, okay. So you get, well, if you bring in two, you get $10 in the gift certificate, which is great because we're getting rid of the old um, seats that have sat around and people's garages and all. And I always say, if you have a brand new baby, get a brand new seat for your child. Okay, those are expensive though, yes, Ruby. Like I kept mine for a long time and I think mm -hmm. I handed it down to somebody. Mm -hmm. But you're saying you really shouldn't do that, no, right? No, you shouldn't. No, you shouldn't. Now, should if you know the person and you know how old the seat is and you know it's not been in a crash, mm -hmm. maybe. But even mm -hmm. so, even in a five-year period, mm -hmm. this technology changes. It does. And the seats now um, have an expiration date, believe it or not. Oh, no they way. Expire. Really? Yes. Yeah, wow. Some of them go from six to seven years um, but it just depends on the manufacturer, and um, most of them have it written on the seat themselves at, you know, the expiration date. So parents should be aware that if you buy a, a car seat, that it does have, it does expire, just like food, you know, expires and stuff. So you want to make sure that you don't use a seat that's been expired. So even really... Me handing it down to kid number two, which yes. of course I did at the time, they were five years apart. Mm -hmm. um, it, it could have, it could be, well, it, could have it didn't expired. back then, but yeah. now mm -hmm. it could. So yeah. you really are saying new baby, new seat. New baby, new seat. Yeah. That's hard. Yeah. Okay. So these things are a little pricey. They are. Are there any programs to help people who can't afford them because I mean you know nowadays mm -hmm. you almost need two you need one in each car yes if one mm -hmm. person's doing drop off and mm -hmm. you know this other spouse is doing pickup or mm -hmm. need it on Saturday and yes. you kind of don't want to move them back and forth so much mm -hmm. we have a program through the Virginia Department of Health that offers free, a, a free child safety seat to eligible parents and families so if you are eligible and you meet our criteria. And that's an income criteria. That's an in income criteria. Okay. Or if you're on any of the public assistance programs, you automatically qualify for the program. 
And uh, in my case, I do a child safety seat class. You have to attend a class because that's a stipulation of the Virginia <laughs> Department of Health. It ought to be, even if you buy it at Walmart, it I ought know. to be that they teach you how to use the darn thing. That's it's complicated true. now. I teach a two-hour class, and um, the applicants will get their seat the same day. And then I actually take them out to their car and have them install the vehicle, I mean, the um, car seat in their vehicle, and then I will come out and check the, their seats for them, make sure they're installing it, and also make corrections and, and kind of... Um, tell them what they did wrong, even though they sat through the class, some of them still, oh, yeah, it's different you know, when you do it yourself. It. You're like, mm -hmm. and you forget stuff yes. and all that. But mm -hmm. it is a lot more, you know, it used to be, okay, the early ones, you just kind of threw a seatbelt across yeah, them, yeah, yeah. and that's what held them in. Mm -hmm. And now, there's, it's just a lot more it pieces. Is. And it changes, mm -hmm. right? This one can be rear-facing for infants, mm -hmm. and then you turn it around, so mm -hmm. you need to Remember, Remember what you learned, That's right. whatever it is, six months later, six, nine months later, when you have to turn the thing around and use it differently. Uh -huh. um, a lot of people start out with the infant seat being um, uh, the main seat for the baby because it's small yeah, and it's what easy I to pick yeah, up and, and it's carry. it's portable. You don't have to yes. wake them up and take them out. But I always like to tell the parents, when you get an infant carrier, always make sure that when your baby's head gets about an inch or two near the top portion of the infant seat, to graduate them to the convertible seat we are facing until they are two years of age or they outgrow the limit of the seat, whichever one comes first. So um, a lot of parents don't know it because I see a lot of them carrying those little infant carriers and the baby feet are hanging over the edge, which they think is, you know, oh, my baby's outgrowing the seat because their feet is over the edge, but when in actuality it's where their head is. The feet aren't going to mm -hmm. be what hurts them in a crash. No, it's, the it's head. their head. Absolutely. And um, when their head gets about an inch or two near the top portion of the infant seat, you don't want to wait until it's way up at the top because um, in the event of a car crash, what happens, the uh, car seat rear facing slips back, kind of bounces down, then it flips up. Mm -hmm. And when it slips down, your baby's slipping backwards. Right. So it's putting them, when it comes back up, out of the safety of the child safety seat. So you want to make sure that your baby remains in the, inside the um, safety seat, even if they move a little bit, which all people do in the event of a crash, um, that they don't come out of the car seat end up with head, neck, and spine injuries, which sometimes can be um, devastating for a child. It can either paralyze them or oh, even yeah. kill them, even in a low 25 mile per hour crash. So even if they're in a car seat, mm -hmm. if they're not, if the car seat's not in correctly, mm -hmm. if the child is not in the car seat yeah. correctly. Mm -hmm. um, they can be injured or killed. Wow. So you want to make sure that you're buckling your child in the car seat the correct way. And it's getting winter time now, just to mention that. And a lot of people put their kids in the car seat with all these bulky jackets and all, but you need to take them out of the bulky jackets, the um, little um, snowsuit for the infants really? and all, and put the um, harness straps, which are these, uh -huh. as close to your baby's body as possible. And then you can wrap all the then blankets and stuff around Then you put piled stuff them. on top of Yes. Mm -hmm. I would not have thought of that. Mm -hmm. I remember having to loosen the straps, though, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, when they were wearing something bulky. And yeah. you're saying that's not the best way to do that's it. That's not it's the better best to way to do it. Take them out. It is. It <laughs> I is. I almost feel like, geez, you should just stay home with your kids and not go anywhere. I know, it's just I know. a complicated process. And you really should um, make sure the harness straps, which are, is this what I mentioned before, mm -hmm. are as snug against your baby as possible. So you're going to use your finger, your forefinger, and your little thumb and kind of pinch way up here on their collarbone to see if you can pinch it. As long as you don't pinch it together, they have space. Oh, so okay. a lot of parents are worried about that, or they think they have they to have them in a real tight. tight. I'm going to choke them or whatever. Yes, and then the harness retainer clip, which is this piece right here, mm -hmm. that slides up even with the armpits. So Okay, so what other tips do you have? Like, so even, even with the armpits, and you want to pinch it, but mm -hmm. not all the way. But not all the way. Okay. And. Um, don't put anything underneath the baby's back or butt to make the baby fit the seat. And don't add anything onto this car seat that did not come with it because if it has not been crash tested with the seat, that means it could do some funny tricks to your baby. Oh, so, so don't those add little like fuzzy liners or anything like that. Really that did not come with that car seat. Don't do you don't want to add on to this. And also, I call it the little seatbelt buddies. But it's like a little spacer that goes way up here mm -hmm. on the um, Makes it softer. Straps. Mm -hmm. Yes, Don't we, we take those that. off because <laughs> they do create space on a child. So you I don't know, care how tight you think you have the straps. As a new parent, you think mm -hmm. people sell those things, they must be okay, right? No.
No, not right. Manufacturers okay. sell their products. So, um, but with the car seat, uh, every car seat that we get through the Virginia Department of Health or anyone that's in the market that's in the store, crash test it with whatever product it has on there. The only thing we just don't like the little spacers mm -hmm. on the um, on the harness straps because it does create space. Well, it, right. If you're spacing mm -hmm. right here for softness, mm -hmm. there's space. All yes. over that mm -hmm. puts it a little further away yes. and gives you more movement. More movement, yeah, and and you can be crash. ejected out of a crash. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay, what else? Always in the back seat. All children should ride in the back seat um, up until they're 13 years of age. Because I've had parents ask me, "Oh, when can my child sit up front?" And I always say, "In the back seat until they're 13." And then if they sit up front, they should sit back away from um, the airbag in case it deploys. Don't lean forward into it, like leaning down to bend, um, pick up something off the floor. Just sit back and just stay mm -hmm. away from the airbag because they do come out like 200. And, uh, They're made for a, grown, a big guy, hour. really. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's the They're problem. Even for, for people like people. you and me, yes. they're made for big guys yeah. to save them. So yeah. um, it would. But the seatbelt and the airbag works together. They don't work like if, oh, I can just sit in the front and expect the airbag to protect me. It won't. Mm -mm. So yeah, and I always tell, tell my class, I said, well, it's like having three crashes in one. If you hit something, um, and this is like happens in split seconds. So if you hit something, an object, your car is gonna stop, but you're gonna keep going at mm -hmm. whatever speed that vehicle was going. Okay. And um, when you hit something and stop, your organs, internal organs are still going there, hitting against the skeletal bone and um, breaking up. Sometimes you can bleed to death and not even realize that you're bleeding on the inside. Inside, oh yeah, geez. Yeah, so that's what I meant by the three crashes in one. So um, the seat belt, um, you wanna make sure that you're wearing your seat belt to help protect and keep you in place so that hopefully you won't have those injuries. Okay, mm -hmm. all right, you're scaring us now, Ruby. Yep. <laughs> We're ready. So okay. just as a reminder, you've got this roundup going during the month of February. Mm -hmm. If you have an expired car seat, which we mm -hmm. now know exists, mm -hmm. you can take it to where? The old used bought and abused child safety seats. You can drop off at uh, any Walmart super centers that have that selection uh, of accepting them. Any AAA offices in Hampton Roads. And sometimes I take them at the health department too, but I just don't have the space. But okay. uh, if you go to those locations, you, you get can get $5 your five dollar. Yeah, that's reward. that's helpful. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna get rid of the old one. Mm -hmm. We're gonna get a new one, new yes. baby, new car seat. New baby, new and car seat. And they are expensive. Mm -hmm. If you need help with that, contact the health department. Yes. See if you qualify mm -hmm. for some financial assistance. Yes. And the great thing is, mm -hmm. with the car seat comes Ruby and yeah, a class yeah, yeah. on how to use the darn thing, how uh -huh. to get it installed right, how to get the kid in it right, uh -huh. mm -hmm. and make all of us feel a little Safe. less worried. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you if you know what you're doing, yes. it's just a, one less thing to worry about. And there's it so is. many things to worry about when you're a new parent. It, it, Let, let's let this one uh, rest. Yeah. And also, um, the Hampton Health Department is a permanent fit station. So I do it by appointments only. I am a um, NHTSA child passenger safety technician, so I check anybody's car seats to make sure they're installed in their car the correct way. So you just need to call and make an appointment with me and I will be glad to come out and check your seat and give you a little tiny mini <laughs> lesson in, in how to install that baby okay, in your good. car seat as well. I don't so just even people who don't income qualify mm -hmm. for the assistance can, can get still. you yep. to give them a quick lesson and check to see if they're doing it right. Yes, and they are also welcome to sit in on my classes if oh, they God. would like to. They don't have to I just get that. a seat. Okay. I mean, they can just sit in just for the information for themselves uh, New on how to keep their do babies. That. You know, there's nothing scarier than it. leaving the hospital with this little yeah. bundle of joy yeah. and going, holy cow, mm -hmm. is this right? You know, we also, you want to know that you have it down. Mm -hmm. And Peninsula Health Department also has a child safety seat program. Okay. Same program I do. So um, So either in Hampton or maybe you work in Newport News and Newport News mm -hmm. is closer, you can go to either one. Well, I don't know if they have a technician aboard in Newport News, okay. but I know Hampton does. We I know we, we do mean. right here yep. in Hampton. <laughs> Ruby's here. Come see her. Okay. Yes. Thank you very thank much, you. Ruby. You're welcome. And just to recap, these things are very technical and sophisticated and constantly changing to be safer for your child. So remember new baby, new car seat, and 
call the health department, make an appointment, make sure you're installing it correctly and you're putting the infant or child in there correctly. Yeah. Um, yeah. We want your kids to be safe, just That's as it. you do. Thanks so much for watching. <laughs>